Now, more than any other time of the year is when we, were, we are all out shopping. Well, that also means the bad guys have more opportunity to grab our money and identity. That is why we are talking with a financial expert on how to make sure we are safe and secure. Hi there, everybody. This holiday season, consumers have a new weapon in their wallets in the war against data breaches, and that is the chip credit card. I'm a huge fan of these cards, so much so that I've partnered with the American Bankers Association to educate consumers about them. Chip credit cards actually have a tiny little microchip in them that generates a brand new transaction code each and every time you make a purchase. That prevents identity thieves from grabbing your account information and counterfeiting your card. But it only works if there are chip readers to accept the chip cards. Some retailers haven't yet installed those. Others haven't turned them on yet. So that's something to be looking out for while you're out there shopping. So you may be wondering, well, we've got some of the old cards, some of the new, who's responsible? Rest assured, consumers are not now and never have been responsible when a bad guy uses your card for some reason. As long as you report the fraudulent charges in a timely manner, your bank's got you covered, zero liability. One thing has changed, though, in this instance. If the bank has not issued a chip card to its customer, the bank's going to take responsibility. And if the retailer has not installed one of those card readers, the retailer is going to take responsibility. Something you can do for yourself at this point is to use the chip card if you have a choice of either swiping or using your chip card. Use that because it's such better protection. Also, order your credit reports and scan them for suspicious activity. The correct website to do that, annualcreditreport.com. And a slick tip most people have never heard of, you can set up a security freeze on your three files at the major credit bureaus. And this prevents crooks from setting up new accounts in your name. Those are things you can do for yourself. The banks are also taking steps to protect you. It's like something from the future here, biometrics. They can use the camera on your phone or on your computer to do face recognition, fingerprint recognition, to make sure it's really you using your credit card. They also do something called tokenization, where they generate, kind of like a chip card, only for online purchases, they generate a one-time transaction code for each and every single purchase. So there are great new tools in the war against data breaches, and the battle is on. For more information, go to safechipcard.com.